Hey guys, welcome back to a new video for Dota 2 and today I'm doing the PS3 games I would like to see get remastered for the PlayStation 4. So this list is going to be exclusives only. I know some of these companies have shut down, so don't be coming to the comment section going, oh these guys have been shut down, there's no hope. Um, they shut down the guys from the Wipeout, Liverpool Studios, and then they actually made got someone else to do the remake of Wipeout HD for the PS4. So yeah, there could be still hope for them to do these remasters to get other studios to actually do it for them. So hopefully they do actually manage to make a go of getting these remade or remastered even for the PS4. Because this is, these are some really good exclusives for the PlayStation 3 that any fan of PlayStation brand who has not played these games um, really deserve to actually play them. Uh, so yeah, I might do a list of non like exclusive games uh, that were on our consoles that I would like to see remastered as well. I will probably do it sometime in the future, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, let's get done with the video. So the first one is more sp uh, more storm series, but it's Apocalypse, but Apocalypse is just one of them. Um, the Morrison franchise was a really fantastic racing game. Uh, to be honest, Drive Club was great. Gran Turismo was meh. Um, but yeah, we need Morrison back again. Morrison was absolutely great. It was archaic. It was fun. It was fast and frantic. So we need it back. Uh, they could obviously get the people who made Wipeout to do these TV master of those because if you can manage to remaster Wipeout, you can remaster um, Lemons as well. Fucking <laughs> think they're a bad. So next, we have the Ratchet and Clank games. These can be remastered because obviously the studio's still about. And even if we can't get a zombie act to do it themselves, uh, Zanzaru, I think that's their name. They could probably do it for them because they handled the remake of no, not the remake. Sorry, the HD collection of one, two, and three on the PS3. So we could they could probably easily port these to the PS4 as well. These are some of the best Ratchet and Clank games on the system. They have the flaws, but they are still really, really awesome. And even going back and playing them now again, uh, nowadays, they still hold up and they still look absolutely fantastic. So yeah, I would love to see these remastered for the PS4. So next, we have the Infamous games. Obviously we got the third Infamous game, Infamous Second Son. And we never seen a remake for these games, which is pretty weird, because Infamous uh, did really, really well on the PS4. And I would think Sucker Punch could easily remaster these games as well. But no, we haven't seen them yet. Um, hopefully there's still a chance we'll see these before the PS5 comes out. Or if not, maybe on the PS5. But yeah. Hopefully these can be made as well. Um, the first one, absolutely fantastic game. Uh, it doesn't look anything spectacular nowadays, but they still are fun to play. So next we have the Resistance games. Why has Sony not got these remastered? Honestly, they're one of the best franchises on the PlayStation. They're probably one of the best games on the PS3 and we have not seen a remaster in these of these games or the PSP one or the Vita one for the PS4. I think it's just a wasted opportunity. Obviously in Zombie in Zombie Yeah, in Zombie Act. Couldn't really remember her. I always get them and sucker punch mixed up. Excuse me. Um but yeah, they could easily remaster these games as well. Hell, I would love to see them. I'd buy them again just to play the remasters, master versions of them, or HD remakes of them, even. So, yeah, trophy support for the first one. So, next we have probably a controversial one, and one that people probably want to agree with me with is. White Knight Chronicles Trilogy, Trilogy, two, <laughs> the, the two White Knight Chronicles games. Um, I love White Knight Chronicles. It's a really, really fun RPG. Um, 
I don't like the combat. The combat's a bit wank on it. But, uh, excuse my language. Uh, but yeah, story's decent. Gameplay's fun. It's just the whole combat in the first, uh, the first one was let down. I actually never got played in the second one, so I don't know, have no idea if they fixed it or not. But the first one bombed that bad. They actually put, they actually remastered and redid the first one and then put it on the second one's disc just to try to get it to sell. Yeah, I would love to see these remastered. There's still great RPGs, and to be honest, they're exclusive, so why not? Put them on. So next we have so called confrontation. A mag. Never shut up about these games. I won't talk about them too much. Two of the best online shooters, third person online shooters I have played. We have not seen another game with 256 players online at once in one match since. And this game was absolutely a blast to play. So calm, it has problems at the start, but I still think it turned out to be an awesome game by the end of the its life cycle. It was absolutely fantastic. Six Lance deserves all the credit they, um, for it. Obviously, um, Zipper Interactive did nothing for this game, and I think Zipper, ah, Zipper, I think when Zipper got closed down. They should have just hand the franchise to uh, Slant Six, Six Slants, whatever <laughs> their name is pronounced. So next, we have Heavenly, Heavenly Sword. Um, yeah, it's a great hack and slash. I don't think many PlayStation fans have actually played this. Maybe they played the second one, or I think it's the second one, or is it a prequel? Um, you probably know what, what I'm talking about, but yeah. This was an absolutely fantastic game. Uh, fantastic game. I remember seeing Premier playing through this about four or five times, um, to back to back, trying to uh, be in the hard mode. I just absolutely loved playing this game myself, and I know he's a huge fan of this game as well. Obviously, it's a hack and slash, a exclusive hack and slash for the PlayStation. It definitely deserves a remake, in my opinion. Um, Noriko was actually a great character as well, and the story in this game is fantastic. This game has fantastic voice acting as well, so yeah, I would love to see this get remade. So next, we have 3D Dark Game Heroes. So if you're a fan of games like Zelda and any uh, 2D um, Side scroll, ah, uh, side scroll, action adventure games. You will definitely enjoy 3D Dark Game Heroes. It plays exactly like uh, Link to the Past. So yeah, you get to create your own character. You get to explore the world. You get to um, beat dungeons. It's really, really fun. It's just a really big nostalgia trip for anyone who's a fan of games of the 16-bit era. So yeah, I would love to see that get remastered too. So next we have Modern Nation Racers. This was done by United Front, who I don't think is no longer with us. So we probably won't see a remake of this, but I'm sure the guys who made a uh, Little Big Plan could easily do this game. Or even do Little Big Plan ver uh yeah, the Little Big Plan version was awesome as well. I think this was it was made by the same guys who made this one, but I'm sure um, the ones who made Little Bay Plant themselves could easily replicate this and could easily port this for Sony to put on the um, PS4. Really, really fun it's a game. Uh, lots of customization. There's lots of fun to be had. Unfortunately, it didn't last that long when it came out. It was played for a while and everyone seemed to forget about it. Um, I still find it quite a good game to go back and play. It's still really fun. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely worth checking out and hopefully we'll see a remake of it someday. So next we have Saren Blunkers, which is a, a predecessor to the Forbidden Saren games, which actually were put on the PlayStation 4 uh, is the remastered. So if you are a fan of Forbidden Saren and you like really like horror games, this would be an absolutely perfect game for you to play. Um, you can 
you pretty much can't kill anything that's after you. You're handed a camera and you're just pretty much told to go from this area to this area, try to solve the puzzle, try not to get killed. And yeah, that's basically what it is. It's sort of like the Clock Tower games or um, what you call those other games. It's like that slipped my mind. But yeah, really, really fun games. So next we have Metal Gear Solid 4. I can't say enough about Metal Gear Solid 4. I would love to see this get remade. People would probably bitch and moan about it because it's like six hours of cutscenes in it, but I hate MGS5. I'm not gonna lie. MGS5 was absolutely garbage. MGS4 to me was the last true Metal Gear Solid game. We will probably never see this get remade because Kojima's now left. Um, Konami, and Konami just absolutely fucking killed the franchise with Metal Gear, um, Metal Gear fucking zombie mode, whatever you want to call it, uh, but yeah. So next we have Demon Souls, the original Souls game, if anyone's a fan of Dark Souls and you've never played this one, it's definitely worth checking out. This game just absolutely chews you up and spits you out. It's fucking balls to the walls. Difficult is what it is. Um, I absolutely love playing this game. I will go back and play this now and again. I can't even tell you how many times me and Primates have completed this. Um, and try to how many times we actually had to complete to get the platinum to it. But yeah, this game was absolutely fucking awesome. If you've on a PS3, to go back and play this. But unfortunately, we'll probably not see this get remastered for the PS4. There's still hope, and I would love to see it get remastered. Bandai Namco, uh, Bandai, Bandai Namco could easily port this to the PS4. No sweat. Obviously, they shut down the servers now, so no multiplayer, no online. So, yeah, why not? Do it for the PS4. So, lastly, we have Warhawk, another online only uh, third person uh, shooting game. This was absolutely great to play back in the day. This was one of the last games that still had servers online when the PS3. Um, Finally lost all the service to their online servers. Um, I wish I'd gone back and played this a couple of days before it actually got closed down and recorded some footage for you guys. I adore playing this game. Me and Prime Mittens put so many hours into it. We played so many matches. We had such a laugh playing this game. I would love to see this on the PS4 and seeing it brought back to its former glory. Um, I wouldn't even care if it got like a full HD remastered or just it was just straight up ported. I would just want to see this game on the PS4. I would love it. I would buy it like day one. Like no sweat at all. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to see that. But I don't think Incognito games are around anymore. So unfortunately we probably won't, but still hope. Anyways, guys, so let me know what games that you would like to see remastered for the PlayStation 3. As I said before, I will probably do a non-exclusive um, games list of games I would like to see get ported. Um, yeah, Sony really needs to pull out the finger and really port a lot of these awesome exclusive titles for the PS3 to the PS4. And let their fans experience these games as well. Obviously, we can experience games like Warhawk and SOCOM and um, MAG anymore because online only, but with the other games, there can be still hope. So, hopefully, we eventually do see some of these games get remastered at least. But, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Remember, to leave me a comment in the comment section below. Um, tell me if you liked the video. Tell me if you didn't like the video. Tell me if I could approve any parts of it but uh thank you for watching guys i will see you next time as the two sign light bye